What's going on Falcons fans, Logan here. Welcome back to Razzle Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. So it is time to go over your mailbag questions. And a lot of them came in. A lot of them are from my good friend, Archangel. So I thank you for a lot of those questions and everyone else for some fantastic questions that are about to come in. And I'm so excited to go over them all. These should be all of the questions. If I did miss any, I do apologize. These are just the questions that I received before I started recording. Uh, but I thank each and every one of you for the questions. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. ATL Jet Jones 11. Damn, I kind of miss Jet Jones now. But uh, 23 personnel packages are going to be hard to defend. Can you imagine the mismatches we will create? Arthur will definitely have his playbook on display this year. Uh, man, I, I don't even know if I can imagine anything because, oh gosh, I, I'm, I'm very optimistic in what Arthur Smith can do for this running game. It's going to be a blast. They really, really addressed offensive line a lot more than I thought they would with Matthew frickin' Bergeron coming in. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I think there was a report that apparently Arthur Smith called Peter Skaronsky boring. Uh, and you know, before, cause it, it was like on this little Instagram story and the, uh, the, uh, the post said one NFC coach called Peter Skaronsky boring. And I'm like, I already know that before I open this, it's going to be Arthur Smith. Click. It's Arthur Smith. And I'm like, oh no, so surprised. But the only reason I mentioned that is because the Falcons have clearly been honestly having on their mind this whole entire time that they want to address the run game. They were interviewing so many offensive linemen uh, and they wanted to use defense and free agency so they could, I, I guess they really believe in these draft players for the offensive line and the running game with Bijan John Robinson. And my point is, man, they really, really have a plan for this running game and it's going to be so incredible, but I cannot imagine what they're going to do because it's going to be an absolute blast, but I cannot wait. And I'm sure we all cannot wait. Archangel asked, out of all the new additions added to our Falcons this year through free agency and the draft, which player are you the most excited to watch play in that red and black come Sunday in August, September this year? Good question, uh, because there's so many. Um, so because I know the run game is going to be freaking phenomenal, I could just go ahead and say Bijan Robinson with how they're going to utilize him. But if it's not him, I'm actually going to go with Jesse Bates, only because my reaction video, I think, summed up how excited I was when we got Jesse Bates. You know, when we picked up Jesse Bates, I started reacting and going crazy. So it's a tie between Jesse Bates and Bijan Robinson. Archangel asks, are you going to add more cool Falcons thanks to your background eventually for your Rise Up Rundown content? Just curious. Okay, so maybe I do kind of need to add more stuff to my background. Uh, it probably is just this red lamp and then this couch and me. You know, it doesn't really feel falcony. So I guess that was just kind of like a little good idea and a good wake up call to where it's like, yeah, y y you probably need to add some more falcon stuff. So, uh, I mean, I have some stuff to show you. Uh, actually, I'm going to go get it real quick. I have like this, uh, it's, what it does is like, it's a, it's a helmet that floats. Like you have to like plug it in and it, it like, it's a, I don't really know how it works, but, uh, it like floats and it turns in circles and it's really cool. Uh, and it's dusty cause I just, I don't know. I, I, I bought it and then I guess I forgot I did. And then this is, uh, this is supposed to go on my wall. I hung it for like one video, I think. And then I, I don't know, I guess I forgot I did. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened there, but there, there should definitely be more Falcon stuff coming in. Archangel asked, how confident are you in our secondary this year? What would you rank it right now from one to 32? I was actually just gonna make a video about that because I thought about that. I was like, is this the best secondary in the league? And I'm like, it's probably not the best secondary in the league, but man, they have potential to be. Um, and it's funny because I literally, I said that secondary was our biggest strength last year. And now the tables have turned because I forgot that we needed to add Jesse Bates. Uh, but uh, where does it realistically land right now? And this is before I make that video that I feel is just inevitably going to come out. 
I mean, you have to think it's like a top, I mean, at the very least, a top 10, right? At the least, at the very least, a top 10. I do want to see more improvement from Richie Grant and Jeff Akuda, but, uh, and, uh, um, uh, um, Clark Phillips. I, I, I watched him a little more and I definitely get the hype over him. So those are three players that I believe in, but I'm also just kind of like, you know, I guess I can't really, you know, I, I'm not going to say that they're proven yet, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But AJ Terrell and uh, Jesse Bates, you know, that obviously is just a huge impact to try and make this at least a top 10 secondary. But uh, I guess I'll have to look a little more over this, but it's, it's going to look really promising. Tara Turner asks, do you think the Falcons are Arthur Smith's Titans 2.0? with the additions of Bijan Robinson at running back, or are they their own beast that's going to reap havoc on the NFC South? Rise up. Uh, honestly, I think it's a mixture of both. Um, Arthur Smith definitely, like, low-key doesn't want to try anything new. Like, he's just kind of like, listen, if I if I make this work at Tennessee, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to do whatever worked in Atlanta, or I'm going to bring what worked in Tennessee to Atlanta. Uh, he wanted his Derrick Henry so bad, and Bijan Robinson is coming in. He's a rookie. He's a rookie. I know, but dare I say, oh, he has potential to be so much better than Derrick Henry. I know, like, he's a rookie. I know, I know. Just, he has potential to be. Um, but, yeah, he, he wanted to bring in his Derrick Henry, uh, and then he wanted to improve the offensive line. Um, and, you know, as far as quarterback goes, uh, did he care about quarterback? Like, cause you know, he was okay with working with Matt Ryan. Then he was uh, okay with working with Marcus Mariota and now Desmond Ritter. To me, this just, this screams, I think he really cares more about that run game more than he does the passing game. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't care about the passing game, but he definitely is making it clear that he wants to run the freaking football. So yes and no to that question. Archangel asked, what are your thoughts about some Falcons uh, creators and Falcons fans coming together to do a fantasy league? Would you be down? I would be down. I just, you know, uh, whoever starts it, um, you know, and I'm invited to count me in. Or if, you know, it's been a while since I did fantasy football, but uh, I'm doing fantasy baseball this year with my family. Uh, that's the first time I ever did fantasy baseball. I don't even know who most of the players are. This is like the first year I'm getting into MLB only because I just wanted to try something new. But um, doing fantasy baseball is making me miss fantasy football. So my point is no promises, no promises. But, you know, fantasy football is like getting closer to being something I might do later in the year. Maybe, though. It, we'll, we'll see. Uh, you know, because there's some other things I do have to focus on, too. But, at, like all of us. But, uh, but we'll see. Archangel asks, do you have any more special guests coming on your show? Or are you going to be a special guest on any uh, one's show? Falcons Content Creators. Uh, so far, there's no content creators coming onto the show just yet. Uh, and I can't really think of any content creator that invited me unless there's like a message I missed <laughs> but um okay hold on my door dasher is one second guys yeah <laughs> okay I just had to get my door dash but anyway uh but uh um so the question was that um I don't think there's any content creators I can think of uh, at the moment that invited me unless maybe there's a message that I didn't read yet that they invited me. But point is, uh, so far, it's just me. <laughs> so far, it's just me. Archangel asks, now that we have added three straight offensive players in the first round of the draft top 10, how many points will we average? And how many should we average in your mind? Um, so how many should we average should be 30 points per game? To me, if your offense can score 30 points per game, then you're a legitimate offense. Anything less than 30, I mean, maybe if you like score 25 plus or so, uh, 24 plus, it's kind of like, you know, eh, like could be better, but not the worst. 
And if you score anything lower than that per game, then I don't really consider that a good offense. But if you score 30 per game, or at least usually per game, I would say that's mostly a good offense. But how many will they realistically get? I'm going to have to say like that 24 points per game. The running game, I'm not worried about. The passing game, we just have to develop Desmond Ritter, but we'll see. Archangel asks, with a very crowded backfield, who do you see getting left out in the cold, getting cut out of all our running backs? Uh, definitely Caleb Williams. Um, I mean, it's sad because he, he, I mean, he did amazing last year, but uh, I can't imagine they're going to have him play over Cordero Patterson, Bijan, and Tyler Algier. Uh, Caleb Huntley, I, I just, you know, I wish him the best because he did awesome, but probably not going to return, right? Probably. Archangel asked, what would you rank our offense now that we have Bijan from 1 to 32? I always say the goal should be a top 10 offense, but where do we realistically land? Uh, like, am I going to say that we're realistically a top 10 offense? I think I will, actually, because, I mean, we have the players. Like, we have Kyle Pitts, Drake London, Cordero Patterson, uh, Tyler Algier, freaking Bijan Robinson, and that offensive line is starting to get a little more recognition nowadays, but it's still a little underrated. And Arthur Smith, I still believe in. So this is still, I think it probably is a top 10 offense. I mean, scoring the ball multiple times while running the ball is statistically going to help us. But uh, Desmond Ritter, we just got to see how he can improve. And this should be a good offense. Archangel asks, did the Falcons leave a player on the board in the draft that you really wanted? Well, I did always say that the four players on defense, if they were available at eight, Jalen Carter, Bijan, uh, um, Tyree Wilson, Christian Gonzalez, and Devin Witherspoon. You know, Christian Gonzalez and Jalen Carter were available, but I do like the Bijan pick. And, you know, I guess to be real with you, Jalen Carter, I mean, I think Calais Campbell and uh, Ryan Nielsen would have been amazing mentors, but you also have to think, like, he would still be in Georgia where he had that driving incident. So maybe, you know, the team thought, well, he's not really moving away from where that incident happened. Maybe he needs to move to a different city to get his mind right or so. Um, so I guess I kind of understand it. But I mean, you know, uh, I think I've grown into the Bijan pick a lot more. Um, and, um, you know, I guess for the most part, I'm pretty satisfied with the players that we picked up. But, you know, I would have liked Jalen Carter and Christian Gonzalez, but I do like the Bijan pick. Dak Darkonay asked, do you think we have the best running game in the league? Hands down. Literally hands down. Yes, like it's literally not even a question. I'll put it this way. I would be surprised if we didn't have the best running game in the league. Arthur Smith is a great run designer. We have Bijan, great offensive line, at least for run blocking. Like, I'd, it, I'd be surprised if it wasn't number one. Archangel asked, will there be a comeback player of the year for this Falcons team? And if so, who? Um, hmm. Caleb McGarry was probably our comeback player for last year, right? So who would be this year? I just wanted to point that out. Uh, I mean, I, I would hope Kyle Pitts only because, you know, he definitely did have a bit of a disappointing year last year. Uh, they just didn't know how to utilize him. He gets injured. He's coming back from injury. You know, uh, hopefully he can get utilized a little more. So I would imagine him. And if not him, A.J. Terrell. Because A.J. Terrell also didn't really have the best year last year. But now that we're bringing in Jesse Bates and company, he should be a lot better. Archangel asks, will Bijan be Offensive Rookie of the Year? Uh, this just reminds me of when I was always pounding my fist on the table that Kyle Pitts was going to be Rookie of the Year. And it didn't happen, but I don't apologize for the take. It wasn't some stupid take, I think. Uh, will Bijan be Rookie of the Year? I think this one is, has a stronger case to happen than uh, when Kyle Pitts was in because Arthur Smith loves to run the football. He's a great run designer. I can't seriously imagine that after all this time, that you know that they just wanted Bijan this whole time. And they're just imagining how good they can run this football and how well they did it last year. There's so much potential for Bijan to be Offensive Rookie of the Year. He was literally the best player in the draft last year. And if the Falcons make the playoffs this year, which it's a better possibility than it was in Kyle Pitts' rookie year, 
I don't know why, but when your team makes the playoffs, suddenly people recognize your talent. So uh, I think Bijan has a strong case, but we'll see. That one Falcons fan asked, is our offense going to be top 15 or even top 10? I like that username, by the way, but um, so I think it's a top 10. Uh, I think it at least should realistically be a top 10. If it's top 15, it, I mean, it wouldn't really surprise me either, only because, you know, we have to see how Desmond Ritter improves. And I think we could use another receiver alongside Drake London and Kyle Pitts, but uh, for the most part, I don't think it'll be anything lower than 15. Archangel asks, not to be mean, but are there any players that you hope ends up being released by this team also? Uh, hmm. Not that I know of. I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with the players that we got, I think. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm pretty satisfied with the players that we got. And I guess I'm just hoping that the players that we cut, it, you know, because it's inevitable we're going to cut some players. I just hope that it's not, you know, surprise players uh, and players that we need. But uh, yeah, I, I feel pretty good about this roster for the most part. And those were all the questions. Or at least the ones that I received. If I received any that didn't get in this video, I do apologize. These were just the questions that I received before recording. Uh, but that should have been all the questions. Uh, thank you all for your questions. And uh, that was that was an awesome, awesome mailbag questions video. I had a lot of fun. And we're just going to prepare for next week. Uh, I will see you guys with a video this Tuesday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Love to appreciate you all for the support. And as always, rise up.